What's going on guys, Apollo 1, and today we have another class setup for Call of Duty Ghost on um, a new gun that we have not covered yet, which is a fairly good gun, and I'm going to show you guys the best setup um, when using this gun, because it is a hard gun to kind of figure um, the way to play with it and stuff, so we're going to be helping you guys out with that today, and that's the SA805, or 805, so... This gun's pretty good. It has some decent stats. Now, it's not the best gun for damage. It takes a little bit more bullets. Now, yes, you do die fast in Call of Duty Ghost, uh, but the thing is, you um, with this gun, you can kind of realize or you can kind of notice the uh, the damage isn't too high. Now, yes, you do, do die fast, like I said, and it is hard to you know realize what gun is better than another because they all seem to kill the same like the, very fast. They you know all guns kill very fast. But in this gun, you can kind of, um, you can kind of figure out, or you can kind of see and notice the difference, um, and it kind of does take a few more bullets to kill. So I'm going to show you guys uh, what to do with this gun and how to use it. So, of course, if you're going with the chem strike class setup, you want to go for those chem strikes with this gun, then use the silencer. That's just a, a common sense. It's common knowledge. Use the silencer. But if you want to just go on a rampage with this, this gun, and, you know, this is still a good class setup for a chem strike. Uh, but you're going to be on the radar, so you just gotta you gotta be able to win those gunfights a little bit better. Uh, you're going to throw on the muzzle brake, and the muzzle brake is going to make this gun a lot powerful. It's going to make it better. It's going to make it stronger, and uh, you're going to not realize how, or you're not going to notice the um, the uh, well how you know it kills slower. So you're, it's going to help kill faster, basically, uh, and it's going to make the gun a little more effective. Now. This gun does have a little bit of recoil. You're not going to uh, want to have that. So I definitely recommend using the foregrip, which is an under barrel. It's going to make this gun be a, a lot more accurate. It's going to make the gun better. And uh, you're not going to have to worry about that long range, long distance recoil that this gun just automatically comes with. Um, so you just throw that on there. That's just a necessary attachment that you got to have on there. And like I said, switch between the muzzle brake or the silencer. Either one works, but the muzzle brake, remember, is going to make that damage much better. Uh, it says it only goes up a little bit, but on all and honesty, it goes up. It, it does. It's a lot stronger, a lot better. Um, so you're going to use that. And then for your perks, you're going to throw on ready up, sleight of hand, stalker, quick draw, and amplify. I guarantee those are the best to use. Um, you could always take Amplify off if you don't really like sound touring, and you could always throw Agility, Marathon, the Focus is good. Uh, those are probably the three I'd throw on besides using Amplify, but it's really up to you. Amplify is really good, and I like using it, so it's up to you. And then for your Strike Package, you're going to have to use, well, for my, my, always, my favorite perk to use first is Scavenger. That's my number one perk to go to. Uh, always have that on there right away. And then my second is going to be agility. I just like moving around faster. And I'm going to not put on a third. Well, actually, I have to do this. There we go. I'm not going to have a third perk on there so that I can get my specialist bonus a lot earlier on. I'll be more of a super soldier at an earlier stage. Uh, as you can see, at eight kills, I'll have more perks than I would. And if I put on another one, it would take me 11 kills or even you know more. It could be 12 kills or... <laughs> Even 14 kills, that would be crazy, and it would just not be as effective, because then you're only 10 kills away from your chem strike, but if you get more perks earlier on at 8 kills, then it's going to be a lot more effective. You have more kills to get with uh, a better amount of streaks, or a better amount of perks, so uh, that's a big tip I could give you guys. Uh, probably the best tip that actually came from Carnage Danny, that's where I got that uh, from, but um, very good thing to do. Just roll with two perks originally. And then my bonus is a or marathon um, on the go. Off the grid, which is obviously very, very good if you're going for chem strikes, and then hardline, which is good because you get those assist count as kills as well as uh, one less one less kill to get that chem strike. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this class setup. Uh, drop a like for more. This is um, a pretty good gun. It's definitely not the number one gun to go to. Um, if you're looking for the best gun in the game, this is not your choice, but it is very good. Um, but there's definitely guns out there that are better. Anyways, guys, it's been Apollo 1. Hopefully you did enjoy this gameplay or this, this class setup. My bad. I'm so used to saying gameplay. And uh, I'll see you guys later.